John on True, and welcome to my Let's Play of Star Trek Online on the PS4. I'm BigB82, and this is part 102 of my Roman Republic Federation Aligned Tactical Officer. Right, I conclude our adventures in the New Frontiers arc, where we're going to go and debrief Nef Pa, who assisted us in with giving us information about what the Denkefi fleet was doing as well as taking over the space station in which which had the torpedoes which were going to destroy Bajor. So let's how for the mission. Currently in, in orbit of Cardassia at the moment. It's mainly because them, sometimes it can get a bit finicky if you have a mission around Bajor and it needs you to f click on something and it's like it's a bit strange. So what I'm going to do is how for the mission and then we'll get this show on the road. Captain Neth Parr has turned herself in to authorities at Deep Space Nine. She's the Zenkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the Alliance prior to the assault on Bajor. Captain Parr is now actively seeking asylum and claims to have more tactical information for us. I'd like you to debrief the captain and determine the nature of this new information, if possible. Okay, so let's accept. And let's head to Bojor. I'll head to Deep Space Nine. And while we do that, we should do my log. Commander's log. After the Battle of Deep Space Nine, Captain Neff Parr turned herself over to Alliance Authority. I have been asked to debrief her and see what is the H what is the Autarch's plans. Let's begin. Let's grip. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. The Chief told me to expect you. The Zen Kethi officer is in the far room at the back. A Starfleet captain is speaking to her. Thanks. I'll head back there now. Captain? Good to see you again. Tensions are running pretty high where the Zen Kethi are concerned, but Captain Parr has gone through a lot to help the Alliance. She deserves a fair shake. A great captain. We keep meeting under less than ideal conditions. Indeed. Why are you in the brig? The chief of security thought it was a prudent measure. Technically, I am under protected custody until the Alliance decides what to do with me. I cannot fault this decision. Our military has much to answer for, myself included. There are many who might see a Zenkethi face and decide to seek vengeance. I trust you. Come on out. Thank you. Far too many lives have been lost in this crusade, so I'm glad the tactical data I provided helped to save some. That's an understatement, Captain. No longer. I renounce the title of Captain after committing mutiny. Part of the price I paid to save those lives today. Let's move on. I have more information for the Alliance. I presume you are here to collect it. That's right. Are you ready to hear my story? Proceed. Terran Empire. Gonna be the new big bad for the year, I think. I like the Terran Empire. On this, anyway. 
Anyway, the EOC system. It began on my first mission as captain. I remember it clearly. Captain's log, mission cycle 132. We have arrived at system 91, local designation EOC. Admiral Zen Tarak prepares to conduct Dransuni cleansing operations. Our tactical reports indicate minimal threat from the locals. This should be another egg run. Captain Far, we are receiving an incoming transmission from Admiral Zen Tarak. Let's not keep the Admiral waiting, Ensign. Put him on screen. The planet here stands shown to be filthy with the eggs of the hatred Transuli. Their defenses are generally inferior, but their fleet could be dangerous in large numbers. While our ground squad prepares the weapon, we will ensure that no ship leaves this system. If one ship with one egg escapes, the contagion spreads. That is not acceptable. I know this is your first mission as Captain Neff. Don't let your excitement distract you from the task at hand. Stay alert! Of course, Admiral. We're prepared to enforce containment protocol as ordered, sir. See to it that you do, Captain. Then out. It's good enough. The Yoki fleet on intercept course. Eliminate them! <laughs> See why she was there. Uh... Yeah, we um we we going to the aftermath of this attack. Well, it will reflect in my next report to the Autark. 
I have seen great promise in you today. Faithful service to the Coalition is well rewarded. Don't forget that. Thank you, sir. I will not forget today's events for a long time. If ever. Right, we'll park the system. took a toll upon me and my crew. To eradicate the Transuli was one thing. The eradication of innocent Ioki was another. Despite my personal feelings, I remained a loyal officer. Things would change under Cronus III. I led the Protomatter Bomb Squad myself. Draconis 3 is a primitive, pre-industrial, backwater planet. There is a large infestation. You know what to do, Captain. And Neff, keep your guard up down there. We think the target site is a temple. If that's so, the local savages may try to stop you. Feel free to discourage them. Aggressively, if necessary. Our firepower should discourage them, Admiral. They shouldn't pose much of a threat to the mission. We're good to go here. The weapon's in the green. Protomatter Matrix is stable and primed. The Admiral wants us to deploy the bomb in the largest concentration of Dranzuli eggs. Looks like that's in some type of structure ahead not far from here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. All right, let's move out. Keep an eye out for the locals and make sure the weapon is protected. No more lucky shots like the known in 4, okay? The Admiral roared at me for a 10 cycle over that. Fifty credits says Tashan drops the bomb. Again. Oh, I'll take that bet. I'm standing right here, you know. The fires. This pillar points down the road to that primitive structure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really. Okay. Large concentration of Transuli eggs ahead. Does it matter where we put it? Oh, plenty can scout. Ask the Admiral. I'm sure he'd just love to tell you. You know, after giving you a year of latrine duty. Hmm. Both of you, shut it. We've got a job to do here. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just stay disciplined. Remember what happened on Hatara.
die already. Now we came here when it was destroyed. Are these fools gathering Transulianites? What? Are they worshipping the eggs? They wouldn't want these eggs to hatch if they knew what was inside them. Status report, Captain. Have you reached the structure yet? Yes, sir. We found something interesting as well. Transmitting data now. Starfleet. Interesting. Your scans indicate that image is centuries old. More Federation time travel nonsense, perhaps. Proceed with your mission, Captain. We don't have time for archaeology. Yes, sir. Wait him out. Man, he's a dick, ain't he? Look at this picture! There's a Vulcan in it! <laughs> Mammals all look the same to me. You know, they probably say the same about us, right? I don't look anything like you. I'm actually good looking. Signatures are most concentrated here. This looks like a prime detonation site, Captain. We'll get the weapon placed and ready to go. This won't take long. Who's on Overwatch while we deploy the bomb? That'll be me. Get the weapon ready. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Yeah. Lead to temple and stand guard. Is that the door closing? Hey! We're still in here! Captain! Stabilize the proto matrix here. Boss, isn't they? The bomb's ready, but we're stuck in here. Transporters can't lock on.
Well, shit. We're reading a large number of life signs massing near your location, Captain. A large assault is imminent. Is the weapon ready to deploy? Well, yeah, it kind of is. In moments, sir, that my men are still trapped in the structure. Transporters can't lock onto their signals. Unfortunate. We don't have time to extract them. We received a priority assignment from the Autark himself. We must depart at once. Prepare for transport. Sir, give us a little more time. Beam an engineering team down. We can break into the structure with explosives. You have your orders, Captain. Acceptable losses, as are you. Would you like to join them? No, sir. I would not. <sighs> hmm. Well. good friends because they're about to be vaporized among the rest of the planet where well, we know what happened on Draconis 2. We visited that planet too. I left those men to die. And for what? So the Admiral could reach his next genocide on time. It was madness. So, there were no evacuation plans? No rescue efforts? None. The Autarch's orders were quite clear on those matters. And the Admiral was all too willing to execute those orders. When we reached the Atosi system, it had become clear. Our crusade was not a just one. Atosi Prime, long distance scans suggested the presence of Dratsuli infestation. Certain. Standard operating procedure, Captain. Begin by conducting a scan of the planet. Yes, sir. Let's hope this was a false alarm. Begin the mission. This is Counselor Hale Atunum. I speak for the Atosi people. We know of you, Zenkethi, and your purpose here. If you scan our planet, you'll discover that it is free of the bioform objects you seek to destroy. A scan of our moon will reveal the presence of those objects in totality. When we heard the fate of other worlds like ours, we collected the objects and placed them there for you. Scour the moon as you will. It is devoid of life. A Tosi Prime, however, is not. Over four billion souls dwell here. In their name, I ask you now, spare our world. Spare our lives. Captain, confirm the Counselor's story. Scan both planet and moon. Verify the location of the Dratsuliates. We've been lied to before. And at great cost, I won't be deceived here today. Yes, sir, I'll verify the location. She's right, he's a bit of a... He went a bit mad, didn't he? No signs of infestation, Captain. Shall we scan the moon next? Yes. Helm, set a course for the Atosi moon. Captain. I'm reading a large concentration of Dratsuli eggs on the Atosi moon. Very well. Prepare the torpedo launcher. As you can see, we have been truthful. Captain, return to the planet and conduct a deep scan. I want to be absolutely certain.
Four billion people, man. Not even an empire would. Not even a king of the empire would be that even. Tosi, we're being truthful here. There's no sign of Jansuli infestation on our sensors. It could be residual traces left behind when they move the eggs. Or it could be shielded pockets of infestation. Another crude attempt to deceive us. We must be certain, Captain. Prepare to scour a Tosi Prime. Sir, with all due respect, a Tosi Prime is not a threat to us. There's no need for this. There is every need, Captain. Since you appear to be incapable of following my orders, I will deal with a Tosi Prime myself. Tactical, prepare to fire a protomatter torpedo and a Tosi Prime. Admiral, no. Don't do this, sir. No. We're not a threat! We're not- Hmm. I could stomach no more after that. I could no longer walk upon the path of madness. My crew felt the same. Together, we began to walk a new path. It is done. In light of your service to the Autarch and the Coalition, I will not have you shot for treason. If it were anyone else, be warned. The next time you see fit to walk the path of disobedience, I will not stay my hand. I'll see to it. Your entire lineage is purged from existence to the last scale and egg. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Yes, you do, sir. Helm, get us out of here. Admiral Zen Tarak has a lot to answer for. We can only hope the Zenkethi Crusade has come to an end at last and that nothing like this ever happens again. Mm. Well. That path, that choice, led me to where we are now. Walking it ultimately gave me the strength to stand against the Admiral and defect to the Alliance. I think we can both agree that journey has reached its end. From this point forward, I begin to walk along the path of atonement. That journey will never end for me, but I will help as many as I can with every step I take. That's an honorable path to take. Thank you. I hope your superiors have the same opinion as well. As long as the Autarch lives, he will continue to pursue his insane crusade. I believe I can be of use to the Alliance when the time comes to stop him. Once and for all. Agreed. I shall abide by their decision until our paths merge once more. Until then, goodbye. Admiral, are you ready to return to the ship? I am. Okay, this is our command. Captain Parr's journey has been perilous. To have the courage to do what is right against all odds is quite admirable. The Autarch is dedicated to wiping out every last threat to the Zenkethi. By any means necessary, they are weakened but not defeated. We shall be watching them closely. Ah, yes. I see that Alliance officials will be reviewing Captain Parr's request for asylum soon. The help she's given us, and your report, will go a long way toward approving that request. Okay. And with that, that is the end of part.
part 102. When we're returning, part 103, we'll be starting. And the. I can't remember what the arc is called, man. The Alliance has agreed to a summit meeting with the Dominion to discuss. Yeah, I know that. I don't remember what it's called. The Gamma Quadrant. <laughs> Pretty easy. How are we doing the Gamma Quadrant, which is the Deep Space Nine arc? And until then, I'm the Bibby 82. Please subscribe, comment, and welcome, and I appreciate any thumbs up as well. And I will see you in part 102. Until then, journal true. Ciao for now.